Today we have uh, one of our Guru Bhai who is practicing Siddhi Yoga and has got cured from HIV AIDS. He was into very critical uh, condition, but after practicing Siddhi Yoga for around two months, his viral load went below 20. So uh, by, on the way, we will understand how this uh, Guru Siyak Siddhi Yoga works and how what all steps he did uh, during his uh, uh, journey. <clears throat> so uh, I welcome you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. So uh, first of all, we would like to know about you. <clears throat> so would you like to give a brief introduction, like what you do and from where you are? Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. I'm from Devas, Madhya Pradesh. My age is 28 years. Uh, I was diagnosed. We can't say I was diagnosed. I was in the window period in which the disease can't be detected. Okay. I got this. I got the. I contacted the virus in January and around starting of February, I was uh, I felt very ill. Okay. And, uh, then I got tested uh, for HIV. I have done two or three tests, but uh, all were negative because in the window period, this, you can't detect the virus. Okay, okay, okay. So, so but I what was, symptoms you were getting? Uh, I was having fever, loose motion, weight loss, and uh, rashes on my body. And uh, very, I was very in very seriously ill condition. I can't even eat. My weight was losing very fastly. Like I was 55 uh, kgs. I was having 55 kgs weight, but uh, it fell to fell down to 50, 50, 52. Okay. So I got. I went to many doctors, but no one have diagnosed. Anyone can't diagnose the disease. So, any anyone told me that you should get tested for CD4 counts. Okay. So I got uh, tested for absolute CD4, CD8, a uh, full cytometry test. So when the test came, my CD4 counts were 127. 127. Yes, that it is very high, that I think. In a normal person, it should be around uh, above 800. Okay, okay, okay. So I was in the condition that I was uh, directly converted to AIDS. Okay, so you mean to say first, usually people get HIV infected and then they get converted to AIDS. But in your yes. case, in your case, it was directly uh, HIV got converted to AIDS. So yes, uh, yes, that means the disease was in very severe situation. In, in very uh, your situation was quite uh, critical. It I was uh, it was near to death experience. I see. Yeah, so I was not sure that experience. I would be alive for long time. Because in two months it was it directly converted into AIDS. Means uh, it was we can say the final stage of AIDS. Okay. So uh, you mean to say you were in final stage of AIDS and yeah. probably you would have survived maybe one or two months more. That's yes, what you are yes. trying to explain. Okay. So May I know how, how you got connected to Gurudev Siyag and uh, you started this Gurudev Siyag Siddhi Yoga? Uh, so, sir, I was, uh, uh, in that time I was ill, so I was scrolling like, uh, uh, like a cure for HIV and these kind of things. I was uh, scrolling on the YouTube, I was searching. So okay. I came across Gurudev's speech. Uh, of Siddhi Yoga, so I listened it and uh, Gurudev said that uh, uh, HIV can be cured 
if you do if you practice uh, chanting and siddhi yoga so san- chanting of sanjeevni mantra and uh, practice uh, two time dhyan gurudev's dhyan so i then call to avsk jodhpur what is avsk jodhpur uh, it is i think AVS- organization adhyat migyan satsang kendra jodhpur uh, which was founded by gurudev siyag himself and is working in benefit of mankind so uh, okay so you contacted the organization and uh, then you know how did you get uh, this mantra basically uh, so uh, i think you are trying to say that there are two parts of this process one is the chanting of the mantra chanting of the word it's a god's word and uh, another part of this process is to do meditation every day 15 minutes morning and 15 minutes in the evening yes. so my first question would be how did you receive that shakti pad diksha or the divine word which we call as mantra also so how did you receive that uh, i call uh, i uh, that uh, guru bhai from avs ke jodhpur uh, sent me the link uh, link for gurudev's website uh, www.thecomforter so i Don't went uh, on the website so uh, he told me that uh, you should watch the gurudev's initiation video you will be initiated online with mm-hmm. gurudev mantra so i watched the video and then i listened to gurudev's mantra and then i started chanting Uh, it should be chanted in mind not with lips you should not use your lips or tongue uh, you should uh, chant it in your mind and uh, do two times dhyan 15 minutes in the morning and evening so i started doing this practice and uh, around uh, that uh, around two months i okay. was uh, very much cured i think so okay okay so you are trying to say that uh, one should whoever has the aids or uh, hiv they can also be cured by following the same method what what you did follow and it it has two parts one is chanting of the mantra which we need to chant mentally when we say mentally it means we don't need not to move the limbs uh, we don't have to move the lips and tongue you know we we need to uh, recite it mentally like we read the newspaper silently yeah yeah we don't have to use the you know uh, any wo- sound or any you know lips or uh, tongue so it ha- it has to uh, re- be recited in in your heart okay sir and the second method you said uh, you started practicing meditation every day morning and evening so that's wonderful so now uh, my another question would be did you pay anything for this process and was it I, free yeah it was totally free i didn't pay a single penny gurudev gurudev has done it for the mankind you have not to give a- any money or not any single fees to anyone you can be initiated online through the gurudev's website and you can start the practice okay that's really wonderful that a process which is curing the aids cancer and other incurable diseases is absolutely free for mankind and any anybody can go and sub, you know watch the videos online available on youtube or go to the website which uh, uh, gentleman said it is the-comforter.org so uh, you can take initiation from there or you can go to you- youtube and search guru siyag siddhi yoga you will find lot of videos and many of those have the mantra the secret word about the mantra i would like to tell you that it has to be listened in gurudev's voice when i say gurudev it means a spiritual master if you can see the photograph behind me in my background he is guru siyag so uh, one has to listen the mantra 
only and only in gurudev's voice after that he has to recite it mentally without using his uh, you know lips and tongues like we read newspaper silently in in our heart in our mind so <clears throat> and the process is completely free you need not to go anywhere you need not to pay to anybody it is up to you if you will follow this you will 100% uh, uh, will be uh, get cured from this uh, critical disease like aids cancer hemophilia hepatitis whatever so uh, sir i would like to ask you the next question uh, on the process what all things happen to you while practicing the siddh yoga what all uh, kind of movements or what exactly you know was happening when you were doing meditation or when you doing the mental chanting yes please uh, sir first of all sir i started uh, when i started the meditation first time i got the special guru dev say it's a special kind of mudra called khichri mudra so first okay. as i start the chanting my tongue goes uh, back side and uh, it uh, it attached to the roof of mouth so okay. it goes back side and uh, khichri mudra then many yoga kriyas like uh, uh, all the movements of yoga like different postures of yoga like sarvangasan and uh, different movements like uh, pranayam and different things happen to me okay that's really wonderful uh, with this uh, stage i would like to inform you all that in guru siyar siddh yoga everything happens automatically when i say automatically it means one has to just sit comfortable in comfortable position and he has to see the gurudev's picture here between the eyebrows and he has to recite the mantra mentally while doing th- these two things he will start get meditation and uh, he will uh, start experiencing different yogic movements postures and uh, you know breathing exercises which we call as pranayam in indian yogic uh, indian yoga philosophy and other uh, kind of uh, activities so what uh, uh, sir is saying that he was uh, getting a, a special uh, posture uh, called khichri it's a hindi word but it, it is pronounced like that only we do not have it's a you know english uh, translation so in that khichri mudra the tongue will go behind and will uh, press a part of you know upper part of our throat and uh, it will stuck there and uh, from there uh, a liquid a divine liquid it it will get released to the body and it improves the immunity power drastically so as long as i understood the aids actually it's not a disease but it reduces uh, the immunity power of body to a significant extent so and that in in usually in that uh, in this disease uh, sadhaka or the patient usually get this mudra because it will release the uh, divine liquid which is uh, you know lying our uh, kind of uh, in in our head so the tongue will press a particular point by you know uh, going behind and from there the liquid will get released and this liquid ultimately will improve the immunity power of a patient all right sir so he is saying that he also got some other yogic movements like uh, he said sarvangasan or something like that and uh, he also got bandhas so in this process uh, actually when we do meditation and uh, gurudev's mental chanting there is a power called kundalini power we call it as a serpentine power in english it is the mother of universe and she 
lies in everybody in every human uh, at the end of the spinal cord but in subside position she is in sleeping position dormant position when we do meditation of gurudev here and when we recite the mantra mentally from here we have three veins connecting ida pingla shushumna these are their hindi words and those start from here and then again meet uh, at the you know at the end of the spinal cord where exactly the kundalini is lying residing so after when we do meditation the kundalini shakti which is in sleeping position or which is in dormant position she gets awakened once she gets awakened as she is mother power of universe she scans whole body she scans what all diseases what all defects our body has and according to that defect she performs different yogic movements different yogic postures different uh, uh, you know uh, breathing exercises and other different activities to cure that disease now one may ask the question like without meditation without medicine how one can get cured so it has spiritual background and it has a very sound spiritual base that our body has five elements and each element has some you know impact and uh, uh, in our yogic philosophy we believe that whatever you see outside everything is in, inside your body as well so uh, with those philosophies the mother power which is you know the most powerful power in the world the she she checks the things and she do the uh, management kind of thing like you might have heard about the yoga and its power yoga cures different diseases similar way you know uh, doing these activities ultimately cure the patient so this this was the brief summary how how these things work in siddh yoga now i would like to you know uh, ask uh, dear sir that uh, what all other experiences he experienced one part he mentioned as his uh, you know health got recovered and his viral load went below 20 so he got cured from aids when i say other experiences i am uh, trying to ask the spiritual experiences so this yoga indian yoga or guru shyat siddh yoga does not aim to cure the disease only it has a very wide aim it talks about the salvation it talks about the uh, complete development of human being so uh, on the way uh, as he mentioned that he got uh, uh, three band there are three bonds happens in uh, in our body so uh, as i mentioned that kundalini or serpentine power is at the end of uh, spinal cord and we have uh, different uh, you know air flows in in our body so the if the air is going down how can she you know uh, get uplifted so it's a uh, what after she awakens she stains the body and she tries to uh, penetrate different chakras along the way we have, we have seven chakras the first chakra is muladhar where she is residing and this is called the sahasrar chakra where she actually wants to reach and uh, on the way she performs different activities different postures automatically automatically means if my hand has some issue if there is defect in my hand uh, i will experience the you know exercise of hand automatically i cannot control it it is being controlled by kundalini but i will be viewer i will be experiencing it i cannot slow down or you know fasten the process as well it will go in its pace as it is being governed by kundalini shakti so this this is why we call it as automatic yoga so it happens automatically you are just uh, chanting the mantra and seeing gurudev's picture here 
rest everything happens automatically so as as sir mentioned that he got the three bonds one is the uryan another is the muladhar third one is the jalandhar there is no specific translation in english for these bonds the aim of these is to leverage is to progress the kundalini from bottom to top so once you know it reaches here that is what we call as salvation okay so uh, sir i would like to know more about the your experiences spiritual experiences and i would also like to know that which all diseases uh, sorry medicines you took along with this guru siyag siddhi yoga did you take any medicine sir sir actually i was in the window period so the disease can't be diagnosed so okay so it was a lockdown situation so i never went to the doctor special doctor for specialist for this disease because in the lockdown all were seeing on the only the covid patients so i never had the diagnosis but uh, as i gone for the cd4 test so my cd4 were very low and mm. uh, my body was giving me very much like pain situation if you have any kind of disease and you have never been ill i was ill first time so i i was quite sure that i got the virus so okay uh, as like uh, in the third month i was got tested i mm-hmm. was pra- practicing siddhi yoga so like in 20 to 25 days my disease was cured on the reports like it was hiv negative on the reports that's wonderful sir in the blood that's there was no trace of the virus okay so after then uh, i uh, when i practiced so in meditation i was having exercises of uh, uh, different organs like uh, my, i can't stand so i was very weak so exercise it uh, automatic exercise of my leg started then uh, exercise, exercise of my stomach started and then i started eating and doing my activities and i was feeling quite good after 15 to 20 days okay so that's wonderful sir all the exercises were happening automatically so uh, that means that virus or the disease was getting cured while you were practicing siddhi yoga so uh, finally uh, i would like to ask you sir how are you feeling now because the story you are saying is i think you got infected in january 2021 and then you started uh, siddhi yoga in march or february when did you start yeah. when did you start siddhi yoga i started in the last of february and okay. uh, then i was continuous i was only doing uh, meditation but mm. not uh, i was not continuous in the chanting so okay. i was not getting that much benefit like i was alive and uh, eating and doing my activities but uh, that energy level was down okay so, so then were... uh, then like in the last of july Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i contacted uh, to one of the uh, sadhak guru Decide. bhai uh, pk singh ji he is yeah. uh, also the patient and uh, he told me about uh, he explained me about the gurudev yoga like what you have to do and uh, how you have to do and uh, you have to chant continuous and pray to gurudev that my chant should be continuous and uh, you, like so i started then i i got very much change in two weeks okay my weight also got to increase and uh, i my energy level was good and i was feeling normal okay that's wonderful sir so uh, sir is trying to say that uh, as he mentioned there are two parts of this process one is mental chanting mental chanting of the secret word which is being given by gurudev another is doing meditation so when we say mental chanting 
what does that mean how long we have to chant so it is like you have to chant that mantra 24 by 7 means every time in the days and nights wherever you are you know uh, sleeping or eating or enjoying or bathing or you know what are you in washroom wherever you are you you have to continuously uh, chanting that mantra you don't have to stop that for even you know if, if it is being stopped then you have to start it again you have to practice it you have to try it for your best so the key i'm repeating again the key of this entire process is mental chanting of this mantra and praying to gurudev siyat that please save my life i am in your home is please you know be kind to me so like that you have to pray to gurudev and then this this power or this energy will start you know uh, it's its own work and your duty just to do the mental chanting and doing the meditation twice a, a day 15 minutes morning and 15 minutes in the evening all right so uh, he was saying the same thing that uh, his mantra was not being continuously repeated he was trying his best but still when he spoke to another disciple of gurudev who also has been cured from hiv aids and uh, his name is pk singh and he pk singh ji guided him that how he can you know leverage his mental chanting and he you know uh, did uh, you know some he put his efforts and this finally the mantra gets started automatically so gurudev says that you have to repeat or you have to recite the mantra continuously for 15 days once you do that the mantra will start automatically so after you know 15 days you don't even have to recite the mantra by your efforts it will start automatically in your heart so that is what he was uh, trying to say that he wanted that mantra to get recited automatically but it was being stopped you know in between sometime so he spoke to another guru bhai and uh, he guided him well and finally uh, as as you could hear that he got cured from aids and so sir finally i would like to ask you uh, what message you would like to give to other patients like you or you know maybe in uh, general people How, what, what was your experience overall i want to tell the people suffering from this disease that uh, you should at least if you are taking the medicines you can take but uh, you should start at least try it for one time at least give it a one chance like uh, to see what happens in this yoga darshan yes 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 absolutely sir so this philosophy this process is absolutely free for everybody you don't have to come or you don't have to meet anybody you can just google it guru siyak siddhi yoga and uh, there are two processes one is reciting the mantra we have been describing it from beginning another is doing meditation 15 minutes morning and 15 minutes in the evening now the question could be like how to meditate so we have already discussed that how to do the chanting of the mantra we have to chant it mentally without uh, moving our lips and tongues and it has to go you know behind the head all the time during the days and nights and you know whatever place you are whatever situations you are in there is no situation where you you would like you would need to stop it it is you know every time you have to recite it that is one part and that is how to meditate so for that i would like to tell you that sit in a comfortable position wherever you are or even even if you are unable to sit then whatever position you are that is perfectly fine just look at gurudev's picture with your open eyes and try to learn it once you have learned it maybe in, you know one minute or one and a half minute or two minutes you look at the picture and try to remember it then you close your eyes and 
see the picture here between the eyebrows and then keep reciting the mantra inside the you know uh, inside your body keep repeating that mantra that's 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 all we have to do after that if there is any yogic movements trying to happen in your body let them happen don't stop that your body may go behind your body may get vibration your body may get different asanas postures of yoga you know there are plenty of those plethora of those we even don't know the names whatever is required for your body will happen in your body as simple as that and with the uh, name of god so you are reciting the name of god and you know the things will happen automatically the important thing here you have to be cautious about is you don't have to tell the mantra to anybody in the world by speaking or by gestures but if you want to if you want someone else to take this initiation what you have taken then send him the link of youtube of you know wherever gurudev's voice is there so this mantra has to be listened in gurudev's voice for the very first time so that is the main part of this uh, one of the main part of this entire process that you are you should be cautious that you are not opening it opening the mantra to anybody else in the world and last but not the least you have to pray to gurudev all the time whatever you want in your life it is you know uh, it is not only about the aids not only about the cancer not only any other disease it is it will change your complete lifestyle all the uh, you know uh, intoxications will go off. all the negativity from you will go off. you will feel the bliss inside your body you will feel more concentrated you will feel more productive more energetic throughout the day if you start practicing this so uh, gurudev says that this siddh yoga is you know very much helpful for attaining different worldly goals as well if you want to achieve some uh, you know a goal in your life you want to become a businessman you want to uh, score good marks in your examination whatever it may be it will help in your aims so it is kind of complete development of human being so by the with these words i would like to thank you sir very much for joining us and uh, sharing your experience of aids and we we welcome you back to the life and very much thankful to you that you uh, practiced this siddh yoga all right sir jai gurudev jai gurudev